You have nothing like this in science fiction. You have nothing like this in fantasy. You have nothing like this in mysteries. We are the shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're the one who keep the lights on. I think our society doesn't treat popular fiction with much respect. You read that? And I believe that it's in popular fiction that we preserve our culture's core values. And that's why it survives. We need it. Some pretty powerful women doing this. Professional women. Professional, powerful geneticists, astrophysicists, mm -hmm. lawyers, doctors. Okay, let me get this straight. You were writing three books a year while you were a surgeon. Mm -hmm. And when yeah. did you fit that in? At night. It isn't so much that fans or readers find you, but they find each other. Romance readers are the readers who will read a book a day. They're voracious readers. I sit there and go, please write more, faster, please, please. Readers are writers, our readers are, 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 you know, we feed into this big pot of romance and, and we are a sisterhood. <laughs> Well, part of RWA is that you can join RWA if you're kind of like, I'm thinking someday about writing a romance novel. And it's like, come on in, sister, there's room for you here. If you're an up and coming musician, you don't get to ask the Beatles to critique your, your song. If you're going to submit this to a non inspirational press, you need sex. This is the one place where you will consistently find women's sexuality treated fairly and positively. My hero is Dixon Wildhorse. That's my husband. <laughs> and then I guess my favorite um, heroine is probably Lorelei. <laughs> she was a gambler. She was very strong-willed. She carried a gun. She, she knew how to fight. You know, she, I don't like women that are victims. Like, romance has gotten me through the toughest times in my Absolutely. life. You know, fiction is not real, and it's not supposed to be. Fiction is a dream. You know, fiction is a desire. Fiction is hope. I think the more that they feel that they know an author, it becomes my friend. My friend wrote a book. The flame is always at my ass. You wake up every day, and you look back behind you and see how close it is to your ass. <laughs> I got characters stacked up in my head like planes over LaGuardia. Writing is like an addiction. It, it comes gradually and then more and more and pretty soon you, you have to write. You have to get it down. Um, you're going to be top 15 in every account other than airports. In airports you'll be top 20 and 25. This is the JD only desirable bride. Romance is one of the very few meritocracies left. Um, I think you can be a chef. Cooking is a meritocracy, and romance is a meritocracy. Any woman sitting at a table can look at this book and say, I can do it. And what's more, I can do it really well. I can be Nora Roberts, right? Nora Roberts didn't, she just had her two kids there. It's a snowstorm. She sits down, she starts writing. Now she owns two mountains. Right, I can own my own mountain. <laughs>